in this video we are going to learn how to create a simple father's day flyer like this a link to download the resources we'll be using will be given in the description so you can check them out to follow suit let's get right into photoshop so here in photoshop the first thing i'll do is to create a new document and i'll be working with a 4x4 inch document i'll click on create next off is you want to add a solid color to your document so I'll come over here, add a solid color, and I've already set it as my foreground color. So this is my base color, and I'll click OK. Next up is I'll come over to View, New Guide, and I'll add a 2% mark. I'll also come over to the same view and repeat the same process, 98. And I'll also do the same for the horizontal axis. So 98% mark. After doing this, next up is I'll pick up my rectangle tool and I'll draw a rectangle based around my rulers. So I'll click OK once my rectangle is drawn. I'll double click here and I'll change the color to white. After doing that, I'll click OK. Next up, I want to do is to bring my image into the document. So I'll bring this image right into the document and I'll drop it right there I'll click OK and next off is I'll right click the layer rasterize it and I'll remove the background first to be so after doing this I'll bring my image here just like that next off is I'll pick my text tool and I'll write I'll be using the font Montserrat bold so I will type let's use 50 Sorry, I'll type Father's Day. So you can just arrange this the way you want to arrange it. So I'll close the tracking right here and I'll click OK. So next up is I'll pick my move tool and I'll bring this Father's Day right here. I'll press Ctrl T. To transform it in I'll click OK I feel this image is too big so I can bring it down press ctrl T to transform it in just like that so we can have it nicely not looking too big and not looking too small so I'll drop it here nicely like that and my father's day I'll bring it down a little bit I'll press ctrl A and I'll center it I'll pick my image also and I'll make sure it's centered I'll press Ctrl D. I'll pick my text tool or I'll duplicate Father's Day here and I'll bring it nicely here just like that. And this time we just want to write only Father's. So I'll remove the days and just leave it on Father's. So next up is I'll transform this one out a little bit to fill in the old document, the old white side just like this i'll click ok and i'll raise it up just like that so next off is i will remove the fill totally down to zero percent and i'll right click pick the blending options and i'll add a stroke to it so after adding a stroke i'll make sure the stroke is the same color of our background so i'll click ok and i'll click ok Next off is we want to reduce the opacity of this down a little bit to somewhere around 20 or 25. So we can leave it just like this. So I'll duplicate this again. I'll bring it down just like that. I'll duplicate it again. I'll bring it down. I'm duplicating using Ctrl J on my keyboard. I'll duplicate again with Ctrl J. I'll bring it down nicely just like that. I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard. And I'll bring it down again. I'll press Ctrl J one more time and I'll bring it down just like this. After duplicating it, I'll pick from the first one down to the first fathers and I will distribute the spacing. Press Ctrl J on my keyboard and name it fathers. After doing that, I will reduce the opacity also again so that we can focus more on the thick fathers itself and this should just be like just it should just be shown lightly in the document 
so after doing this we can just place it at 50 50 opacity then stuff it so i'll duplicate father's day right now i'll duplicate this father's day and bring it down a bit double click right here and just type the date of father's day so 1906 22 so i'll click ok i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard to transform it in just like that so i'll transform it in very nicely down to this point somewhere like this and i'll press enter on my keyboard i'll press ctrl a and i'll align it and press ctrl d to deselect next off is i'll want to bring in the tie so i'll bring this into my document and i'll click ok next off is i'll right click to rasterize the layer and we will also remove the background using the built-in ai tool from photoshop so once the background is removed press ctrl t just like this and reduce the tie a little bit so we can press enter here and bring the tie down to this place we still have to reduce this tie very well so after doing that after reducing it now i'll click enter and i'll raise the tie up to this place you can increase it if you want to just like that and you click enter so next off is right click blending options this time around again i'll click on color overlay i'll click ok and i'll click ok and the color has been changed so we can decide to raise this group this together and name it 4d so we know that this is the main element of the design you can raise it up a bit if you want to last things before we go is you right click and create kipling max into the rectangle so that this image stays in the rectangle itself so you can decide to raise the image up now and like that 